I love the media manager in Drupal 9. That is no secret. Anyone who's taken my training over the last year has been inundated with my praise of the media manager in Drupal 9 and the fact that you can build a digital asset management system with it. You can really do some amazing things with file replacement, even with embedded PDFs and more, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I just love it. But there's been one thing missing and it's in the area of remote video. How can I embed something besides YouTube and Vimeo? Hi, my name is Rod Martin. Thanks for joining me today. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how you can do that. And it's called OEmbed Providers. It's here at drupal.org slash project slash OEmbed underscore providers. It's been out there since October 2020. This is terrific and it's really simple to implement. You'll download and install it or install it via Composer as you would any other module. Once it's installed, you'll go to Configuration, Media, and OEmbed Providers. There are three tabs here. One's a general tab where it basically just goes and grabs every OEmbed provider that's been authorized to work with Drupal. On the Allowed Providers page, you have a list of all the providers that you can use. Check this out. I've gone ahead and enabled Radio Public, Vimeo, YouTube and TED. Now, technically, I don't need to do YouTube and Vimeo because, well, they're the defaults, but I'm not sure if that's going to change or not, so I check them off anyway. If you want to add your own custom providers, you can do that right here. And you can even uncheck this link and then provide just the custom providers you want. So this list is then pretty much empty, except for the ones you provide yourself. So total customization here. I've left it at the general settings because I really like the ease of that. The next step then is to head over to Structure, Media Types, and click on Remote Video. You'll need to scroll down and check the allowed providers. Even though you've allowed them in the configuration of the module, you still need to edit your media type for remote video in order to allow them, just in case you have other remote video types that don't allow them. You'll click Save. And then, well, you'll add a media field. I've already done that. I've already added a media field to my article content type, and I've added two nodes, one with a YouTube video and one with a TED video. There's a YouTube video, and again, I just have to paste in the URL to either Radio Public, TED, Vimeo, or YouTube. I'll select it, insert, and save. And again, there's my YouTube video. Heading back home, checking it out, there's a TED video. Wow, I am so excited about the media module. It's getting a lot of attention. It's getting even more in Drupal 10, and I can't wait. Well, thanks so much for watching today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin, as always. Hey, would you like the video? Hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.